Last month, polls were predicting that the main challenger to President Erdogan, Kemal Kilic Doğulu, would poll about 46% of the vote. And the same polls said Inja would get 5 to 6%. So Inja was accused of spoiling Kilic Doğulu's chances of ousting Erdogan. Now, there is little love lost between Kemal Kilic de Orlu and Inja. So today, when Inja announced he was withdrawing, he said he was pulling out because, quote, so the opposition will have no excuses when they lose the elections. Uh, not a very charitable way of withdrawing. Uh, however, I don't think uh, the accusation that he was spoiling Kilic de Orlu's chances is the whole story. Uh, in the last few weeks, uh, Inja's campaign had not been faring very well. Uh, polls showed that support for him was dropping. Uh, last night, a reputable poll polling company, Metropole, said Inja would score just over 1% of the vote. Now, for a candidate who got 30% of the vote in the elections five years ago, that would be embarrassing. So I don't think Inja wanted to fare that badly as, badly as 1% in the elections. And Jasper, the fact that he's dropping out, could it affect the outcome of the vote, even though he doesn't think it will? Well, look, his ballot, his name will still be on the ballots. The ballots have obviously been printed. But those people who are aware of what's going on won't vote for him. Most of Inja's supporters were young voters. We've got about uh, five, six million uh, first-time voters uh, in these elections. Uh, and they are all expected to vote for change. So undoubtedly, with Inja dropping out, they will now vote for Kilic. Orlu, and that will increase Kilic de Orlu's chances of beating Erdogan on, on Sunday. However, uh, he may, Kilic de Orlu may win on Sunday in the sense of getting more votes than Erdogan, but he might not get 50% plus one vote. If he doesn't, then the elections will go to a second round on May the 28th.